Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf. I got breaking news. Uh, well, maybe it's not breaking news, but I guess it is kind of for my for my uh, podcast, my channel. <coughs> so, I just was listening to a a, a, a reputable podcast, very reputable. <coughs> I guess you could call it that. Where I heard that Lavar uh, Ball's son Lonzo, who uh, is the n- number one, actually, I guess he's the number one draft pick in the NBA right now, had got an offer from none other than the Boston, Boston Celtics, who had just lost to the Cavaliers in the semifinals last night. I think it was like 130, 30-something, or 102-something. Like they got blown out again. Anyway, uh, mind you, Boston Celtics been in the playoffs for the, for for a number of years, last several years. They won more titles than any other NBA team in the history of the NBA, in the history of basketball, really. But um, I mean, they got some of the most incredible, most famous marquee pl- players ever come out of Boston. All right, and mind you, that this past year in the playoffs, they were the number one seed. On the East Coast. You know who's number one on the West Coast? Golden State. Okay. But unfortunately, the Cavaliers upset them last night. Okay. Cavaliers won. And beat them four games to one. So now it's going to be Golden State Ohio and uh, Cavaliers. Congratulations to my Cleveland, my hometown Cleveland Cavaliers. Y'all going to do it again. Defend the land, baby. All right. Now. Um, with that in mind, the Boston Celtics, which was who was the number one seed in the NBA uh, playoffs in 2017 this year, offered to pick up Lonzo Ball, and they wanted him to uh, start, you know, working out with them as the team. See, you know, he was ready if he wanted to do, you know, if he wanted to, uh, you know, see if they wanted to uh, get with the uh, Boston Celtics. Mind you. The number one stunner this year, even though they got upset by the Cavaliers, they were the number one team to beat this year. The number one team in the East Coast. All right? In the East. Do you know that fool? Now, not his dad. Lonzo turned him down cold because he wants to play with the Lakers. He still want to, he wants to make the LA Lakers his home. I know what that's all about. That's 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 still his dad talking. I still say that. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's a fact. So, in any case, I want to say it because I'm gonna tell you right now, dude. You had a chance to build on one of the better teams in the NBA, even though they lost to the Cavaliers. They were still. I mean, because they gave Cavaliers fit for about a minute. For about a minute, I'm gonna say for about a minute. All right. But my thing, because even uh, Tyrone Lue said uh, that, that uh, Boston was a hard team to beat this year than uh, Golden State. He said that. The coach said that. All right? He was quoted saying that. So, me, myself, while, if I get drafted, and I'm a number one draft pick, I would love to be drafted by a number one team. Okay, that's just me. Or a number one seeded team anyway. And they got the squad. They're coming back next year. I'm going to tell you right now. They're coming back. They're a good team. They just weren't going to be the Cavaliers, but they were a good team. Why the hell would I turn that down? That's some stupid shit. That's some stupid shit. If Lonzo made that decision on his own, that was dumb. Because... If you won't go to the Lakers right now, you got to go to a team that you, you guys have to completely rebuild and they're going to make you a franchise player and you're going to have to step up your game. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to come for your ass. Tell you right up front. So you better be ready to play. All right? Your dad and y'all talk. Your dad really talked the talk. Dude, you're going to have to walk the walk on this one, baby. Bottom line. See, if you was with Boston, you'd be able to build your, your game. You know? And learn from the from the pros right off hand. Now you're gonna go to a team where all your other guys jail around you. And you're gonna have to be the star player. You're gonna have to you have to carry a team. Watch what happens. This is DJ Wolf. That's all I gotta say about it right now. I will have more to say about this and some other stories, including about Tiny and T I and uh 
uh, uh, the welfare queen's um, downfall because that's coming. That's definitely coming. Yeah, uh, I got a lot to say about that too. Um, I've been, you know, hearing about the uh, cuts, budget cuts, and that's one of the things that they will be cutting. So I will be talking about all of that on DJ Wolf Live tonight, which is basically <laughs> the all new for all to hear with DJ Wolf show on uh, YouTube Spreaker. I'm actually planning on putting on another uh, couple of other platforms too, but that'll be in the works. But uh, it's only pop tonight. We got a lot of ground to cover throughout the Memorial Day weekend. We got a lot to talk about, guys. So uh, I do have a new number. Let me see if I can pull up the new number for you. Uh, my calling number. Oh, dang, I don't have an. Oh, here we go. My new number. Uh, you can call me through Skype uh, tonight. 240-523-3530. That's 240-523-3530. Thirty-five, thirty. All right. So I will be on tonight. Give me a call, guys. Um, just want to let you know that I am available uh, for conversation tonight. Be late. Be it late night, and it's going to probably be late, late night tonight. Uh, so be looking for me between uh, eight and midnight tonight, sometime. Because I'm gonna be on. We got a lot of ground to cover, y'all. So, all right. Well, this is oh, <clears throat> and I will be doing uh. I'm gonna to have to contact uh, my girl Coco Rochelle because we are we're talking about doing a uh, uh, a joint uh, uh, a joint uh, hangout session. That's coming soon too. I gotta to actually get a hold of her and uh, let her know because I'm about ready to do it. So anyway, in any case, this is DJ Wolf. <clears throat> of course, questions or comments about the podcast tonight. Any suggestions about anything you want to talk about on there? Uh, you can give me a call on the night. Uh, or you can leave me uh, comments section for all to hear on on YouTube, for all to hear on Twitter, for all to hear at gmail.com, DJ Wolf online at yahoo.com. All right. And DJ Wolf live on Facebook along with for all to hear on Facebook. That's it. I guess DJ Wolf. I got more shit about this other stuff on the podcast late night tonight. 240. 240- 523-3530. 240-523-3530. Call me tonight. DJ Wolf. I'm out.